Hey, my lovelies. Well, it's coming up to the big day. How are you all getting on with everything? Are you all done? Um, we are done. Um, I've started to do some filming on cleaning and organising this room. Um, so I'm hoping that I can upload that for Friday, just before Christmas. Um, yeah, just to give you a little sneak peek on how we're going to be organising this room for um, obviously our Christmas dinner, the hallway, the dining room's cleared out. So I've started, already started filming, I've been doing this over a few days, so I've started filming the cleaning process and the clearing out process. Um, so I'm hoping that by Friday, I'll have the table kind of ready and decorated to upload the video for you. And then obviously that'll be the last one before Christmas. But anyway, today's video, um, I've got two things to share with you. Festive cocktails, we're doing three. And a hamper I've done for a um, two families, underprivileged families. Um, I decided to do this um, because I care, put it that way. Um, and I went to Aldi, bought loads of bits and pieces, made up, I made up three actually, three baskets. One I've already given to a gentleman. Um, and then I've got a family with four children under the age of five I'm doing stockings for. And then another big box of goodies for another gentleman and with his autistic son. Anyway, I'll share with that at the end. It's just over here, you can see the red center there in the background. Um, but let's crack on with our festive cocktails. Um, now, my ingredients, the main ingredient we are using for, for every one of the, you know, every one of them sounds like I'm doing loads, for the three of them is Prosecco or Champagne. I'm using um, Prosecco. I've already opened this one um, because I was testing these out um, a couple of days ago. And oh, they are lush. I've had one of these before, so I thought I'm gonna do my version of it. They haven't got any names. Um, so if you think of any names, then you know, share them with me, but wait, wait till the end and then leave me your comments on what you think they should be called. Anyway, so the, so we've got Prosecco or Champagne. I've got Prosecco. We've got cranberry juice. We've got the strawberry jam. We've got the orange marmalade. We've got meringues. We've got lime. We've got vanilla extract. I've got a packet of the berries, frozen berries. I've got icing sugar which I've already got in my little bowl. I've got a bowl of sugar. I've got a shaker, cocktail shaker. What else have I got? I've got rum, white rum, or you can use Bacardi, whatever you've got. Um, personally, and I'm not a real big drinker, so I don't really know too much about spirits and what flavors they are, but I'm not a lover of taste of Bacardi, same as I'm not a lover of gin. Um, I, I don't know whether it's something to do with this. I just don't like the smell of gin for a start. I can drink it in a cocktail, but I could not drink a gin and tonic um, or even pink gin. It's just, I don't know, it's a smell. Um, and it's the same with the rum. Bacardi, I don't know, I just, no. Anyway, so I've, this is just premium silver rum by Admiral Nelson's. Again, it's one of the ones we bought back from Florida. Um, but you can use Morrison's own make of, of rum, uh, Aldi do their own make of rum, Lidl do their own make of rum, do you know what I mean? Dupes for um, the premium names, so you haven't got to buy premium spirits, you know, whatever you can, whatever you can afford. So you've got your white rum, we've got a Prosecco, and the other alcoholic drink is vodka, um, and I've already poured um, the vodka into shot glasses only because it's up in the bar and it's on an optic and I just can't get it down off of the, off of the wall. So what I've done is um, one of these has got rum in it, um, a small shot glass, single shot of rum, and this is the double shot of vodka. Um, so I've already poured that out, but we're not using both in one. We're, we're using vodka in one and rum in the other one. And to pair up with one of those, we are pairing it up with peach snaps. I, I personally like archers. But again, you can buy peach liqueur, 
Um, you can buy uh, Cointreau if you want to, as, that's orange uh, as an alternative. Grand Monnier is an orange. So anything kind of that liqueur. Um, and the other thing which I've forgotten to get out, one second. Oh no, it's in, they're in the fridge, they're in the fridge. In a little bowl, where was that? Yeah, I got these out yesterday. Is mandarin, a tin of mandarins, which I've already opened here. And you want to keep the juice as well, okay? So that's what we've got. I've got some ice, I've already got it out, my blocks of ice. And I've got Blitzer, what's it called? A neutral bullet um, to blitz everything up. I've got a couple of jugs, I've got glasses. So that we are doing three uh, champagne flute, we've got a martini glass, and we've got a long glass. So we're gonna start with making our breakfast bellini. So this is like a champagne, a breakfast, champagne, we always have champagne breakfast on Christmas morning. So for those of you who just don't wanna drink straight champagne, this is a great alternative. It's sweet, it's still got the bubbles in it. Very, very nice. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're not putting any ice in this. And the first thing we're gonna do is, we are going to moisten up the rim. So we're gonna wet the rim of the glass. So just get, use your lime, because we're gonna use the lime anyway. Cut a slit just in the middle like that. This is how you might find it easier. Slide it on top of the glass so it sits like this and go round. This is going to wet the top rim of our glass. You're then going to get your bowl of sugar and put it in there. Or a saucer, whatever's easiest for you. And you're going to sugar the rim of your glass. Gives it like a frosting. Also, which I'm going to do on the others as well, is another thing you can do is with the ice and sugar, to make it look like snow on the top, you dip it in the ice and sugar. And that gives also your frosted look. So it kind of looks like it's been in the freezer and iced. Now a lot of people do put, when they're having champagne, their flutes, their champagne flutes, in the fridge or the freezer to make them really cold. I personally don't because I can't stand holding a cold glass. Anyway, so we've iced that up, we've got that ready. Now in here, what we're gonna do is add our mandarins. Now I always put like a little segment of mandarin in mine. So I'm just gonna put a little, little segment in the bottom there and put one or two, whatever you've got. The rest I'm going to tip in here because we're going to blitz them up, but I'm not going to do the whole lot. I'm going to do probably half. Where's my spoon? Let me get my spoon. And the, some of the juice as well. Then you're going to get your archers. And I like a good glug of this. Probably about two shots. And now this one, we're gonna blitz up. Where's the lid? Hang on a minute, folk, let me find it. Oh, it's over here. Now, I'm slightly off camera while I quickly blitz this up. So I'm gonna go off camera, quickly do this, and I'll be back, all right? So I'm literally blitzing this bit up. Okay, now you can use a hand blender to do this. So put it in a bowl, get your little hand blender, and zhuzh it up as well. So this has now been blitzed up. Let's move that to the side a second. Okay. We're gonna get our Prosecco ready. You tip this in first, to however strong you want it. I'm gonna go halfway up. Get your Prosecco, try not to pour it over the rim of the glass. So angle your glass slightly. It will fizz up. Let the bubbles settle a little bit and then top it up again. So you can see the bubbles are slightly going down. Okay, 
and then top it up a bit more. So you kind of come in up to the rim of the glass. Put that back on. I need a proper wine stopper. And then, as you can see, oh, yeah, you might not be able to see, the oranges are floating to the top. You've slightly got a bit of the mixture just at the bottom, and then it kind of rises. You can just see, can you see the darkness of the orange up there? It just comes up to the top. And now you've got your frosted edge. So this is your champagne bellini, your breakfast champagne bellini. So let's just taste it. Mm. Mm. Seriously good, seriously good. In America, you, it, when you have champagne breakfast in America, it's called mimosa. Um, and we also have Buck's Fizz, which is just orange juice and champagne, or orange juice and Prosecco. It's the same thing as a mimosa. Um, but this is, this is a Bellini. And these are a great alternative to having either just champagne or just Prosecco. If you want a bit of sweetness, add these, because they really, really are nice. Right, now for our next one, this is going to be a berry one. So what you want in your, in your mixer, get a handful of berries. Frozen berries, keeps it nice and cold. Just a handful. Handful of the frozen berries. In the frozen berries, you want a double shot of um, your, your vodka, let's say. You don't have to have a double shot, but because we're doing it in a tall glass, we want a, you know, a double shot. So a double shot of the vodka goes in. I've got a frozen buried ice cube, which it basically is, I got berries, blitzed them up, and then make lots so of they pureed, and then I put them back in the freezer block, in the free in the ice cube container, so it makes it into a an actual block of ice, if you like, but they're, but they're berries. Anyway, so I've already done that and put my berry ice cube in the glass. So we've got our berries, we've got our spirit in there as well. We're now gonna go in with some lime. So cut yourself up a lime. Um, get your your little what are these called juicers get yourself a juicer I always kind of put the knife in the top right in the center of the lime or the or the lemon then I push it on over the top give it a good squish and you want a whole lime for this so get all your juice out of there I'm gonna do another one Give it a bit of pressure. So you're left with just the casing. Then you'll have the pulp on the top, which is fine because we want the pulp as well. So put the pulp in, tip the juice in as well of your whole lemon. Lemon, your lime. If you haven't got lime, you can use lemon, but lime goes much nicer with this. So we've got our berries our vodka, our lime juice. We're now going in with our strawberry jam. You want a big, big heaped teaspoon. A big heaped teaspoon, probably two teaspoons actually. We're now going in with a, a half a teaspoon, and I mean half a teaspoon of vanilla. So literally, I had a little, aha. Uh -huh. I knew I had a little measure. I've got little measurings little measuring spoons, so literally half a teaspoon. Of the lime. And now we're going in with a glug of cranberry juice. And I'm going in with a tiny, tiny little bit of meat. Um, I bought this meat the other day, it's starting to wilt, unfortunately, but I'm gonna tear it up a little bit and that's gonna be blitzed up as well. And already I can, I can, yeah, the mint is there. I can smell it. It smells absolutely gorgeous. Okay. Now our Prosecco is, is coming in last. All right. So let me get this. Now I'm going to blitz this up. One second. Take the lid off. 
And what you want to do is get yourself a jug, get a sieve, because we want to sieve out all the pips and tip it in. And as you're tipping a bit in, do a bit at a time, get a spoon and push it through the sieve. Come back a little bit so you can see. Push it through the sieve. You don't want pips. There's nothing worse than drinking a cocktail and you've got pips in it. Okay. Right, so we're now going into with our, our shaker, our cocktail shaker. Put your mixture in, in the glass. Sorry, in the shaker. Now with this, we're now going to add our Prosecco, but we're not going to shake it up. So we're gonna go in with a, a, a glug on the top there. Don't shake it, it will absolutely froth everywhere. And all you're gonna do, put the lid back on it, and you're just literally gonna turn it over, slowly and back again. That's it. We just want to mix it, but we don't wanna shake it. It's like shaken, not stirred. No, the other way around. <laughs> Got our glass ready. Now with this one, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a meringue. If I can get it out. I'm gonna take a meringue, put it into a bag or cling film or whatever you've got and you're gonna crush it. You get a rolling pin if you want to, you're, you're just gonna give it a good bang. Rain's quite soft, you can do it with your hand. You want to create crumbs, which is literally going to be like, um, like snow. So give it a good, a good bash about, all right? So you've got yourself some crumbs. You don't need to, if you're making lots, then use a whole meringue. If you're not, if there's only two of you, or one of you, you only need like half of a meringue. And depending again how sweet you want it. Okay, so this is settled down a bit now. Take your lid off and pour it over the ice. And this should be just the right measurements. And it is. Look at that. Absolutely perfect. This is like, like a long glass. Then on the top, you're gonna get a sprinkle of, get a, get a um, like a pinch of the meringue. The ice is coming up now. And you're literally gonna sprinkle it over the top. Then keep some little frozen berries to the side, the little ones like the black currants or the, or the um, what's the other ones, the cranberries. And these are gonna be your garnish and they sit on there as well. And if you want to, you can go back in with a little bit more of the, um, of the meringue. Hang on a sec, my hand. And there you have a winter berry cocktail. I don't want to tip it too much. I'm going to sip a bit first. Mm. And then what you get is the crunch from the meringue as well. So you get the tanginess and the sour from the berries and the lime, but you get the meringue, the crunchiness of the sweetness from the meringue as well. Look at that. Absolutely delicious. Honestly. Mmm, 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 mmm. And you get you can just taste the vanilla in it as well. It's just such an easy drink to drink and, and, and easy ingredients. Mm. And I can just you can just taste the mint coming through as well, which is super nice as well. Okay, so that's that one. Now we're going on to the last one. Another bit of cloth. And this is our after dinner, kind of going into the evening, you're going to get into that party mood. Very similar. We're doing it in a martini glass. 
and this is going to be our winter cosmo <laughs> winter cosmo but actually no it's not winter cosmo because cosmos are made of cranberry juice so we can't actually say it's a winter cosmo because it's not i'm not using cranberry juice anyway so with this one what we're doing we're doing the same process with um like we did with the um the oranges again like the clementines we're doing the same thing again so with this one you're going to get your um blender you're going in with your tangerines or your clementines or your or even oranges even oranges now with this one we're going in with a bit of um ice and sugar there may be a teaspoon of ice and sugar in this one let's go in let's put another one in for good measure then we're putting our rum you can put i don't know maybe one or two let's put another one in this put another one in for good measure I do half, so we've got one and a half. And this time we're going in with the marmalade. Uh, where's my spoon? Where did I put it? Okay, all right, look, I've got a fork here, let's use a fork. So you want, I've got, look, probably a tablespoon's worth there, the marmalade. And then we're gonna go in as well with vodka. So you've got the rum and vodka there. And now with this one, that's it. We don't put any other liquid in there, that's done. So now we need, where's my blitzer? I'm gonna get my blitzer, we're gonna blitz this one up. Right, we blitz that one up. Now with this one, we're gonna do our rim again. So get a lime. Cut down the middle slightly. Put it on the edge of the glass. And we're gonna go round. Okay, like that. Now, keep this. Or you can cut another slice. Let's slice as well. I'm gonna cut a slice of lime as well. Because I'm having one for garnish. As well, give it a bit citrusy. And we're going to do the same again. So we're going to go in with sugar. And then we're going to go in with the ice and sugar to give it that coating, that frostiness. All the way around the edges. And we're going to get a Prosecco ready. Sip this one. I know you might be thinking, oh, we've got to get, keep getting your sieve out. But honestly, do this and your guests will go, oh my God. It, it, I mean, you don't have to sieve it because there's, this is marmalade. There's, there's actually no pips in it, but it just gets rid of, look, I've got a tiny little bit of pulp there. It's dripping on my hand. Okay. So we've rimmed up. Our, um, our flute here, it's got, in fact, all the ice and sugar is now kind of running to the glass, so it looks like snow running in. Tip in your, your mixture. Got a tiny drop there left, but I'm gonna top it up with the champagne or Prosecco. And you can go back in if you want to with your your meringue to give it that little bit of crunch again all over the top for our snow and then we're going to get a wedge of lime and put it on the side and there you have your after dinner evening cocktail cheers mm. that's really nice and you know what you get from this i'm not a lover of marmalade but it's like you get 
the slight bitterness, bit, not bitty, bitterness, that's what I mean, slight bitterness, I think from the marmalade. And it's just pulling through. Oh, look at me, I sound like I'm one of them mixologists. I'm absolutely not, I'm really not. Mm. And you can really taste, I can really taste the rum in that. Really taste the rum in that. Um, it, yeah, you still got sl slight, if you, that actually is not as sweet as the other two. If you want it sweet, I would probably put some more icing sugar in it um, to give it a bit more sweetness. Mm. In actual fact, I probably would have a wedge of um, orange on the side, actually, not the lime. If I'm totally honest with you. Um, yeah, anyway, there you go. Mm. At the three of them, now I've done this one before, but at the three, the one I like the best is that one. That's really nice, really nice. But then I do like the the, um, the breakfast one as well. <laughs> I like all of them. Anyway, if you're not a drinker, um, well, I hope you enjoyed the video anyway. <laughs> and do it as a mocktail. Don't don't use. You can buy. In actual fact, you can buy no seco. I don't know if anybody knows that, but you can buy no seco. Um, I will see if I can find and flash up some pictures of no seco, so you can substitute real prosecco for no seco. Um, Archers, what could you swap that out with? Just, just peach juice. Just get some a tin of peaches and blitz them up and get the juice out of it. So you can substitute that with that. Marmalade you've got there, strawberry jam you've got. You might even be able to get peach jam. I don't know, but you know these. Conserves are, are, you know, are they called conserves? Um, I don't know, they just give it that extra sweetness. Um, the vodka you could swap out as well. You could put elderflower in them. You can buy no alcohol gin now, I've seen, and I'm not, I'm not you know, not a gin drinker, as I said. Um, but you can buy no alcoholic gin, so you can, you know, you can substitute these things out if you want to do it as a mocktail. And uh, I'm sure your guests will be absolutely amazed and will love these cocktails. Right, guys, let me just tell you about the um, the hamper I've been um, doing. So, as I say, I did um, two hampers. One hamper was for a elderly gentleman who's 92, lost his wife a few months ago. Um, and yeah, obviously feeling the, pre the pressures of Christmas. Um, so I did a lovely hamper for him. I did film it, but anyway, the footage was just not good. So I, I couldn't upload the video anyway. So I did that. I'll, I'll just put a picture of how I did the hamper and, and what it looked after. So that looked really, really nice. So I donated that to him, um, for that gentleman. I went round there, I did him a Christmas card. I met him absolutely delightful elderly man. I'm going to say young man, delightful gentleman and a proper gentleman. So I went round and, and did that for him. The other family I did was, um, a uh, young mum of four children under the age of five. So what I did was I got, I had um, stockings. I bought stockings from when I was in Florida. Um, but you can get stockings in the pound shop. Um, so I got the stockings and in the stockings I put in things like um, little packets of sweets. All right, sweets, sweets. And they're not the healthiest things, but these are children. Do you know what I mean? So I filled it with sweets, biscuits, 
a, a little um, a drink called a fruit shoot. They're about this big. Um, so they've got a sweet in there. They've got a little mini selection pack in there. Hold on, I'll just show you. Okay. So a little selection pack, um, some other little sweets, some some biscuits. These are all products from, from Aldi. So very inexpensive, but you don't need to go and buy all the brand names and spend, um, you know, loads of money. Children won't know what make they are. It's about what you're, what you're giving. Do you know what I mean? So, you know, for me, I feel happy for what I've done. So that's in the little, I'll put that back in a moment. Um, so I've done four of those. So we've got two boys. So one each in the red and the green. And I've got two girls. So they're having those stockings. And they've got exactly the same stuff in it. And that one, so that's for the girls, two girls and two boys. And then uh, another family, um, a gentleman again, um, lost his wife a few months ago. He's got a 16 year old um, young lad and he is severely autistic um, and his age range, I think is an eight year old. Um, and he's 16. So I done him a separate stocking as well. So he's got the Santa stocking and that's filled again with sweets and treats in there. So that's for Jack, his name's Jack. So that's for Jack. And for, um, for Daddy, I've literally got a box here um, and I've filled it with um, loads of stuff. It's quite heavy, I can't even lift it and I've just obviously wrapped it um, in wrapping paper and um, in here I've got things like some little um, savoury snack mix, um, I've got biscuits, I've got, um, th these are the little fruit shoots I was talking about, the little drinks uh, for, for Jack as well. Um, I've got cakes in here, I've got tinned food, so we've got spaghetti, this is all non-perishable stuff. So we've got tins of spaghetti, we've got ravioli, we've got soup, I've got um, cup of soups, I've got uh, lattes, if he's a coffee drinker, I don't know, I don't know this gentleman. I've got a big bag, uh, sorry, a big box of tea bags, um, what else have I got? Mince pies, I've got bars of chocolate, I've got, um, what are these things called? Savoury twists. I've got those, I've got Christmas puddings in here as well, a few of those. I've got tinned fr um, fruit, I've got tinned vegetables, um, biscuits, cup of soups, um, and, and sweets and cakes. So I've got quite a good variety of here. Um, uh, the poor gentleman, uh, uh, after losing his wife apparently, has just completely gone into depression as you would do. Um, he can't work because he's so depressed, um, so he's struggling to make ends meet. Um, and when I heard about this young man, um, I thought, yeah, I, I need to do something for him. So that's what I wanted to share with you as well, that, you know, you can do someone a hamper. I, I, I literally went in Aldi and I, and I probably spent for the hampers, as I say, I did two hampers this size. Um, and four stockings for like 25 quid. So it doesn't matter about the brand name, it's about, you know, your thought process, your passion and, and yeah. That, that's what I wanted to do anyway. I'm not saying that everyone's got to do it. I, I, I wanted to do this, but I just wanted to share with you um, what you can get um, for, for your money, basically. So anyway, I'm just gonna put those back in there for now. Redo those. Redo the stockings again, and um, that's it, guys. Anyway, hope to see you very soon. Take care. See you later. Bye.